Hello and welcome to AE Accounting Tutorials. We are continuing our series on IES 23 borrowing costs. In this video, I want us to take a practice question on specific borrowing, how to calculate a borrowing cost that will be capitalized for a particular financial year. Is that okay? So without wasting much time, let's quickly go through the question and try to solve it together to enhance our understanding on the calculation of borrowing costs on specific borrowing. On the 1st June 2022, Gina Limited commenced construction of a new factory that is expected to take three years to complete. It is being financed entirely by a three-year term loan of $6 million. Take out at the start of construction. The loan carries a fixed interest rate of 9% per annum. The issuance cost of 1.5% of the loan value worth were incurred on the loan. During the year, $57,000 had been earned from the temporary investment of these borrowings. The company's year ends is the 1st December. How much borrowing cost must be capitalized under IES 23 for the year ended the 1st December 2022? You may use the straight line method to amortize issuance costs. So in order to solve a borrowing cost, very simple. After you read through the question, the first thing you have to do is to look at the commencement date of the construction of the qualifying assets. So from this question, the construction begins on 1st June 2022. And remember that we are calculating the borrowing cost for the 2022 financial year. But the construction of the building begins from 1st June 2022. So 1st June 2022, meaning that from within this year, in the year 2022, the construction only took place for seven months, okay? For only seven months. So we will only calculate borrowing cost for seven months for the year 2022. And the next thing you have to also look out for is the interest rate. And here the interest rate is 9% on the loan value. And there is also another ancillary cost in the question, which is the issue cost, okay, or the issuance cost. That is 1.5% of the loan value. And then remember that this is specific borrowing. And the, the loan has been borrowed or the fund has been borrowed specifically for the construction of this qualifying asset and then because it takes a substantial period for it to get ready for its intended use or sale part of the loan has been invested or part of the loan that will lie down idle for some time has been invested temporarily and there is an income or investment income on the temporary investment which is uh, fifty seven thousand dollars for which we have to also consider so let's begin to look at how we go by this um, calculation of borrowing cost. So to begin with the solution, um, the amount borrowed specifically for the construction of the building is six million. Is that okay? And there is an interest rate on it. And interest is one of the components of borrowing costs. Remember, we learned component of borrowing costs where we talk about five different components. Is that okay? When we talk of interest, we talk of um, amortization of discounts and premium. We also talk of amortization of ancillary cost. In our, in our case here, the issuance cost is the ancillary cost, where we talk about finance cost in relation to finance less. Under IFRS 16, we also talk about exchange differences. But here we have two different um, borrowing cost components. That is the interest and the ancillary cost, which is issue cost. So first of all, we have to talk about the interest. And remember that the interest is 9% on the loan value and that is 6 million. Is that okay? So 9% on the 6 million for the interest has to do with $540,000. All right. But one thing you have to take note here is that the interest or interest is always per annum where ancillary cost is for the entire duration of the loan term so if interest is per annum remember that 
the construction of the qualifying asset begins on 1st June, meaning that within the 2022, the construction only took place only seven months. So we are calculating for only seven months. And this interest is per annum. So in order to determine the interest in relation to the seven months in 2022, we multiply this value by um, 7 over 12. We want to know the interest in relation to the one, sorry, the seven months. So we have seven out of 12. So we can better still multiply it by this. Is that okay? So when we do this, we will get an amount of 315,000 for the interest for only 2022 for seven months. Okay, you have to know that the duration of the loan is for three years, but we are calculating for borrowing costs for only 2022 and construction begins on 1st June, meaning that we only construct the building or the qualifying asset for only seven months in 2022. That is why we multiply by seven. Is that okay? So the second thing we have to look at is the issue cost. The issue cost or the issuance cost. With the issuance cost, we've been given 1.5% issuance cost on the value of the loan. So we still have 1.5%. We multiply by the loan, which is 6 million. Remember that this issuance cost will give us 90,000 right it will give us ninety thousand. but one thing you have to take note that the issue one the, the issue cost or the issuance cost is for the entire duration of the loan term which is three years okay but we are only calculating for 2022 for and that is only seven months so in order to determine this if this is for the entire period or the entire three years is that okay then we can simply say that if this is this 90,000 is for three years. Then we can divide it by the three years in order to get per year. So per year will give us 30,000. So if this is per year, we can still calculate for seven months where we can have seven out of 12, which will give us 17,500. Is that okay? We can also do it in such a way that the three months or the three years is 36 months. So we can calculate the seven months out of the 36 months okay and this will give us 17,500 is that okay so this is how we calculate the issue and cost we amortize the issue and cost because the issue and cost is for the entire duration of the loan so these are the only two components of borrowing cost in this question so we will add the two and have an amount of three 132,500 as the two borrowing cost. But remember that the entity or general limited invested part of the borrowing as temporary investment for which there is an interest or investment income of $57,000 and we have to subtract it to reduce the borrowing cost for the period. So what we have to do is that we have investment or income on temporary investment and that is 57,000 and we are subtracting it to reduce the borrowing cost for the period so we will have 275,500 as the borrowing cost eligible for capitalization so we can say that this amount is borrowing cost Borrowing cost for capitalization. That is for 2022. For the seven months of the 2022. Is that okay? So this is how we calculate borrowing cost with regards to um, specific borrowings. Okay. So in, in our subsequent video, we will also look at how to calculate borrowing cost when there is um, a general borrowing where the funds has been borrowed for several purposes where maybe um, the source in which the fund has been borrowed are different and there is different interest rates on the loan or the borrowed amount where we have to use the capitalization rate that is the weighted average method to determine the capitalization rate to 
calculate our borrowing costs eligible for capitalization. So this brings us to an end of this um, video. In our next video, we may look at another practice question on general borrowing. So thank you for watching this video.